Hey guys and gals, Dustin here with Jumpy Jump Productions, and we are back into some more Silent Hill, the short message. And the first episode of the short message, we went through a whole lot with our friends and looking at self-harm and battling with our depression and feel like we're going crazy and we realized our friend Maya's dead as she's texting us. I truly believe that we are trapped inside our character, Anita. I'm, I really feel like we're trapped inside her psyche and all of this is in her head because Silent Hill has a way of doing that to people. So let's figure... Oh, and we got chased by the Cherry Blossom monster. That was fun. And then I think now we're coming back to focus in on all these paintings of Maya and hopefully figure all of this out because I don't Amelie's understand. That's me. It's... Is Amelie. So Amelie is who we're looking for? I'm so confused now. So are we all dead? Because in the last episode, all three of the characters that we've interacted with so far have been through heavy trauma of some kind. We've been through an abusive stepmother, I believe, is our main character. Emily is dealing with some kind of creepy, psychotic brother. And I don't know about Maya. Can I go back to looking at her sketchbook? Because I wasn't done in the first episode. These are so really pretty, though. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Who's that guy? Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. Amelie. Is this? Are you sketching out our futures in your book? Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Yeah, I do like How your artwork. Your I don't know if I wanna. This has been a scary ass experience so far. What the hell? Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Is that us? Free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> Is that us? Maya only ever cared about Amelie. Oh, that's Amelie. Are we in? She didn't see me. I was in we loved her. Maya, and Maya didn't even see us. Oh wow! This poor girl. Anita's been through it all, haven't she, darling? Holy hell! Oh wow! Library. So what happened in the library? Uh, we're back in the sticky note room from hell. There's no beauty in any of this. Is there not? Cry, baby, cry, baby, freaky. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about something. Were you being picked on? Are we trying to rest? So I finished it. So flipping. It's all yours. I'm so confused. Are we seeing the abuse that was given to Maya? I thought we might have been living our own. In a letter. Read it when you get home, okay? Are we looking for that letter? What the fuck? All of this is so damn confusing. Where was it? That book. Is that the thing we've got to find? What's the book called? Help me out here. You got me in a room full of a thousand books. And you want me to find one? Oh, here it is. The Witch Hunt of Kedenstan. In 1930, Germ in Germany. 
The town, Kettenstan, attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a periodic of economic and prosperity behind that success, though was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would become to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would grant would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered a great, great losses. A large fire spread throughout the industrial parks, losing them the, major, the majority of the factories. The, itch, the witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believed the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claimed that the witch hunt was to blame. They urged the witch the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party who used the chaos from the fires as cover for murder there is no evidence to support this claim and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory but the mayor the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death since then citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse a witch's curse is that why i saw what did you see before? I'm so utterly confused. Is that what we're looking for? Is there anything else here? Hello. It looks like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. <sighs> is the book in our locker? Yes, it is. Okay. So what's it going to take us to get back to our locker to go get no that book? Way. Can we get back to our locker to get the book? Oh, the door's open. Hello? Oh, schools are the creepiest place places when no one's there. Oh, this is just all sorts of nope. Uh, 600 levels of no! What the hell? A spiral like staircase? What other school? What other school? Why does this all I've never seen Whoa! Like before. I don't know if I want to look at my phone. You all right, Anita? You left me on red, so I was worried. Yeah, no, I'm just in hell. It's fine. Sorry, was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. Oh my god. Okay, so we've been living Maya's trauma. I know. Why are you responding so slow? But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue, but then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Well, you know, some people don't know how to communicate their pain. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. Or she was trapped inside her own head. It's not true. Sometimes when people are just quiet and say I'm fine, they're really just kind of trapped inside their own head. And that is sometimes the scariest neighborhood to be in. Oh, there's my locker. Let's go get this book. I really wish I could run. How about? Locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? Oh, now we got to find the passcode for our locker, huh? Ah, oh, hell. I have no indication of what that code would be. One. Hold on. There's yellow numbers around. There's a one. Is it all ones? What the fuck? Amelie's locker. There's Amelie's locker. Yes. It's just a novel. Wait a sec. Ugh. What are we tripping about? Wait. Which locker was that? The only number I have is one. Of course it's not going to open, because the the chances of it being one is slim to none. This game is almost playing on, like, some of my most private, deepest fears. Like, I hate being in buildings alone. I hate a bunch of crowded people, but you put me in a creepy-ass environment like this, I'm already on edge. All the way on edge. Is there something on my desk? The hell, liar. Uh, what? What the fuck? I'm so confused. I did. 
Ah! Two. One, two. Zero. Three. One, two. Zero, three, one, two. I know what's inside. Oh, what's inside? No, not this time. Here it what? is. What is it? Oh, it's the letter. Was it inside the book? Was it? Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. This was her suit. This was her letter. In vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. This was her. This was her suicide note. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. Who took? They took him away. People. People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. God, you can feel the emotion behind her words. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take wow. much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together, Mama Me. Just me and you. So they loved each other? They, she, Maya I loved am. her. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just... Did we kill her? Yeah, this is a silent hill, all right. It's all your fault. So we really are inside our subconscious, living out our sins. Oh, here we go, Gl glitchy. Oh, I hate when we get glitchy as we run through the apartment complex of hell. Oh, I don't like this at all. Are these all pictures of her now? They are. They're all pictures of Maya and, a and Emily. Oh, now I'm stuck in a repeated tornado of hell. Don't like this. Which way am I supposed to go? These are about the worst segments in video game history. <laughs> and they're not. They're really good. I'm just really fucking scared. Okay, just wrong way. Keep going. We just... Okay. It, it's Is it going to loop forever? What if we run this way? Try to escape the cycle. Escape the cycle. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that's... That's lovely. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, I I kind of feel like. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. 
The trauma's real. Okay, so we gotta make her come out. Then we gotta turn around, bolt through this door. How close do I have to get for you to bust through it? There you are. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Get her to chase us. Come on. I fucking hate this. So fucking much I hate this. It's like being trapped in your own personal hell. But you should have left the room. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Run away. Yep. It probably is all our fault. Probably is. Probably is. I'm not digging any of this at all. Silent Hill has earned its props as one of the scariest games of all time for reasons like this. Fuck me, man. I don't want to run around in circles. Come on. I don't think we're going to get noticed this way. Are you sure this is the attention you want? Come on. There's the stairs. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I've been chased by a lot of things in video games. I think that bitch is by far the worst. Holy hell. Who? Maya, I finally get it. I know what you wanted me to find. Her cries for help. Yeah. Or we call it. What's up? I'm so sorry, Amelie. Maya died because I killed her. We have confessed what our sins. What are you talking about? You and Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah, but then Maya jumped off the villa roof. Well, there was supposed to be one. In the last book you had, too. What? That letter. That letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you away from me. My mom was right. I should never have been born. Oh. So due to our anxieties and our mental state, we've crushed the world around us. And Silent Hill has made us atone for our sins. And we jumped. Is that the end? No. Maybe. How many times do we have to wake up in hell? Holy hell. I mean, really? I jumped off the building. That's twice now we've tried to off ourselves. Silent Hill really wants to keep us here. Where are we? Oh, God! That's us! Welcome to Silent Hill. How many times do I have to go through this? That's an excellent question, my dear. Find it. How can I get you to forgive me? Please, Maya, tell me. Why won't you say anything? What the fuck? February 4th. I ended up, I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last. Actually, a lot of girls kill themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Now this place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little queasy. Were they not scared? What was going on through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? I feel like now we're reading up Maya's last thoughts and words. Welcome to Silent Hill, where you must atone for your sins. Don't you dare go outside. Okay, I, I, I won't. As there's a shopping cart full of baby dolls. Hello? No hope. 
Do I gotta squeeze? Can I squeeze? No, just no hope. That's cool. No future, no hope. No nothing. No nothing. Hello. This is no exit. No hope, no exit, no future. <laughs> just all death is what you're telling me, right? Hello? Who the hell has this many sticky notes? That's a really good question. Are all the rooms going to be like this? Just... Konami has really stepped up their game with Silent Hill. What is that moving? What is that moving? I hear shit moving. Is this our house? Me and my mom lived here. This is our living room. Well, home sweet home. December 29th, 2011. I've finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I had found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Mommy. Hello, mumsies. No mummies. It's a pizza box. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? Hey, hey, hey. Why do you always yell? You know, people would listen if you wouldn't scream at them. February 10th, 2012. My new man showed up to my place with pizza today. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed after when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. February 22nd. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than the other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. Nothing like a, that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Oh, did, is, are we repeating the cycle just like the rooms are repeating each other? March 7th, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should, I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things when I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. March 22nd. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and just said he wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with him. We need him ha we need him for a happy life, and I need him to I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. April 12th. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit us as much as he used to. If I don't figure out something, I may never see him again. What the fuck? You locked your children in a closet so your man would be happy? The fuck? Yeah, that's definitely abuse and neglect and rotten to the absolute core. Am I a little child now? Do I, I feel like I've shrunk. I definitely feel like I've shrunk. I'm stuck in here. I'm giving up my life Whoa! You. Are you now, Ma? It seems like you locked us in a closet to appease your man. I wouldn't. Whoa! That's an episode of Hoarders waiting to happen. May 9th. Hey, my birthday! Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he brought them a some bought he brought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back I have no energy. May twenty fifth. I got contacted by Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing my child crying in the middle of the night. The fuck they do do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is enjoy out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the bad fucking guy? July 15th. I, if I hadn't had children, I may be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. Did you pin the baby in the closet? What the? Don't dare go outside. Stop. 
There's a baby in the fridge. And I have become a child. Or really small. Oh my god. Can we go? We gotta go. We gotta go. Get away from the horrific baby is stuck inside the fridge. Miss Crystal Plennert. We have reached out to you repeatedly, but have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remitting this issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code Article 1631, Section 2, according to the federal court, and has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objection to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Frischer. So they... Yeah, if the place looks like this, good goddamn... What the fuck? So we're being neglected and verbally and physically abused by our mom. Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested. August 4th. A boy was found in the refrigerator dead today. In his home, a 41-year-old mother, person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. And when she noticed he wasn't moving the next day, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. His mother. According to the investigation, person A's daughters ran into the neighbor's house to call police and repute, report her mother for the neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered the brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to the crime. Holy fuck. What? Our mom locked us in a closet? What? We didn't have a shot from the gate. Oh my god. What the ever loving. Someone's a little angry. Someone's gone mad. Please don't leave me, Mom. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. I'm what the curse. fuck? You always said you'd be better off without me. You're not my daughter. You're a burden. A curse for my mother. Poor Anita. I am your daughter. And just like you, I'm cursed. Wow. What the fuck? And there's that weird ass hole again. So our mom locked us in a closet. And then when my brother died, shoved him in a refrigerator? Oh, God, it's open. And there's a baby inside. This is such... Oh, my God. Can we just... Of course, we're going back to the glitchy shit. Let me guess. I got to run another marathon. Oh, of course I do. Because why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we have to run a marathon? Oh, I can't go in the closet? I feel like that's where I was supposed to go. I know it's my fault. All the voices keep telling me it's my fault. I really like what you drew me way back. You, you do? I'm glad you really like what I drew you way back. I'm sorry I don't have time to enjoy it. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. Uh, Emily, I'm sorry. I have no idea where I'm going. We, I just feel like we got to keep moving. Of course, there you are! Cause you just couldn't be anywhere else, could you? Are you gonna come in? Come on, bitch! Come on, bitch! Why are you stopping the running? Come on! Come on, is that our way out? Oh, shit! We stopped running! 
No time to look back. No looking back. No looking back. Go, 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 go. Just keep running. I have no idea where the fuck we're supposed to go. I don't feel like I'm supposed to go in the holes. I feel like I just wasted time. What are you hiding inside? I don't know what I'm hiding inside anymore. Fuck! Jesus! Oh my god. Oh fuck 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 fuck. Oh fuck 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 fuck. Oh shit. I have not had any fun. I'm not having fun. I don't know where to go. And what is What am I running from? Where am I running to? Come on, bitch. Is this the way? I don't know anymore. I am so fucking lost. Oh god, I ran in a big circle. Ah, fuck. That's not the room I wanted either. This is so... Ah, shit, so much worse than I thought it could be. Oh my god. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, shit, run. Ah, shit, run. To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left, all your shit's in a box to the left, all the shit in the box to the right, that's my stuff. Fucking A. Holy shit. Okay, okay, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I'm lost. Oh. Oh, everything just repeats in one big fucking circle. I don't like this. Hey, Malim, I, uh, super sorry that I'm a dick. I didn't mean for you to die. I didn't even know you were gonna die. Uh, how the fuck was I supposed to know? Now we're back here? This is not going well for me. Just trying to go new directions. That's not the direction I wanted to go. Now we're back in the living room from hell. This is just going swimmingly. So fantastic. Oh, suck. such such fun. Such fun times. Oh, and you are just gaining on me. What are you, a linebacker, bitch? I, what has this become slender? The eight pages of fucked? Oh, this is PT on crack. What am I missing? I gotta be missing a picture or something. Ah, uh, fuck you! Crooked bitch. This is that dumb shit, ain't it? This is that dumb shit that I'd be a part of. And then I go back into the spiral of bullshit that I didn't want to be in. Which way you going, bitch? Ah, tag your it! Is there anywhere I can fucking hide? Oh, I'm gonna fucking die. Because I don't know where to go. Looping hallways from hell suck. Wait, I can loop around you. I can loop around you. I can loop around you. I can... Oh, I thought I could loop around you. Oh, I cut that one stupid close, didn't I? Come on, go, 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 go. I want to go away. I want to leave. I don't know what to do. Oh, kill me already, a bitch. God damn. Ah, fuck you. I have no idea what to fucking do. Am I looking for the pictures? What, what is... I'm sorry, Mom! I really don't want to turn this into a three-parter. I really, really don't. I feel like we're so close. Oh, you're right there? Why are you right there? What the fuck? Come on, don't be just a cheap bitch. Because I still have no absolute... I think I'm supposed to collect these pictures. Okay, I think that's what we're supposed to do. Because we were doing that. We were doing good at that. Let's collect the pictures. And then maybe get the fuck out of here. Maybe that's the key to getting out of here. Why aren't you running? Is this as fast as you run? Oh, fuck sakes, come on. I'm glad you really like what I drew. Okay, super cool. Glad you liked it. I'm glad I got at least one fan. Can this thing be a fan of me? That'd be awesome. Wasn't there a picture right here? Picture right here. There's two. Come on. I don't want to audit an art class. I want to get the hell out of Dodge. That's where I'm at right now. Okay, we've got two pieces of art. We've got two pieces of pictures or whatever the hell that's supposed to be. 
Huh? What was that? Oh. Oh. You like what you see? N uh, um. No. I don't know what the right answer is. I just want to leave. Uh, that's what I'm after. A one-way ticket to paradise. Which is far away from you. I see that on my phone. Why is there faces popping up on my phone, Maya? 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 Can you help me out? Get me away from the devil? Is that my mom? Where am I supposed to go? Definitely feel like I'm retracing steps. I shouldn't be. Hello? Hi. Do you want to be my friend? Can, can you not be my friend? There's got to be something. A way out. That's all I want. It's all my fault. I'm truly starting to believe that it is all my fault. Come on. There's got to be a way out of here. There's got to be something. So you're shitting. Go away. You fuck. Are you coming through that door? Come on. Come on, bitch. Which way are you coming? Oh, you're going to come that way? Yeah, well, go fuck yourself. Come on. 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 Don't run. What do you mean, don't run? That seems like the one thing I should be doing right now. I have no, uh, I have no clue on earth where I'm going. I am definitely running in a shit ton of circles. Hello, you big bitch. Ah, fuck. Okay. I feel like the chains and the pictures correlate. But you get so twisted and turned around in this fucking maze. Oh my god. Well, I'm starting to wonder if you should be blamed. God, and then I gotta pick all these pictures up again. Of course, guy got hung up on the fucking wall. It's, oh my God, this shit is hard. So what, I picked up at least three pictures, so there's gotta be five maybe? Yeah, we are living out our sins. We are paying for the sins that we have committed. I don't like this at all, man. This setup is all fucking weird. This is PT on crack. That's what this shit is. There, I, okay. Fuck you, man. Oh, I cut that by the skin of my fucking teeth. So there's five pictures, because there's five chains. Okay. Got me playing Slender Man the Five Pages and shit. Okay, the phone's wigging the fuck out. One, two, three, four, five chains. Is that are there six? And that takes away five. I don't know. Okay, three more. So there's five all together. I wish I could see better. I'm just running in fucking circles. You spin me right round, cherry blossom, right round. Like a monster bitch, you turn me round, round, round. No, of course you're there. Because you know all the little shortcuts, don't you, hooker? And I'm retracing my steps. This is not good. Not good at all. And I still don't know if the cherry blossom monster is Maya, or if it's my mom, or if it's Emily, who's pissed off at me because we drove Maya to kill herself. I, d I don't know. Just, I have so many questions without answers. Bye, bitch. I'm going to have to start remembering the layout the best I can. It's already bad enough I don't have a map or nothing to help me out. Damn it! Why the fuck are you there? Is this purposely getting harder? Like, I truly feel like this shit's getting harder. Or this bitch is just running out of stamina. Stupid easy. Like, you're throwing off my groove. Will 211 allow me to get the second picture? So far, I've only been able to collect three before I die. It's not... And I truly don't. I think there's five. I think. You're way too hard on yourself. Okay, so there's two. 204. Where's 204 take me? There's three. Two more, two more, two more. We just gotta keep moving. There's gotta be two more somewhere. Ah, God damn it! Yeah, fucking prick. Come on, bitch. Okay, I gotta run into the door to the left that he came out of. Maybe you're helping me 
and finally figuring out where the pictures are that I haven't grabbed. Could that be a possibility? I don't know anymore. I truly have no earthly idea. I just know I'm now three of five. And of course you're gonna be right there. I should have seen that shit coming. Is this a new room? No. Yes, no, maybe so. This is the school hallway. Where'd my light go? Fuck, man. Come on, there's gotta be one more. Does it have to get so damn dark? It's already hard enough to see in this bitch. I don't know where I'm going, do da, do da. I don't know where the fuck to go, do 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 da day. Don't run. Like, I got a fucking option. There's gotta be... Oh, you're shitting me! Come on! God damn it, man! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get in stupid try-hard for mode for this shit, aren't I? Fuck sakes. Now I'm just starting to get pissed off. Now I'm just starting to get pissed off. <sighs> yeah, come on, you bitch. Come on, mummy! Because I really feel like you're a mummy. I feel like only our mummy would want to fuck us up this much. I really like what you drew me way back. I'm super happy that you like what I drew, okay? I'm tired of answering your stupid-ass questions about my drawing. I may have to turn up the brightness even more than what I've already got it just to be able to fucking see. You're into art, right? There's two. You could audit an art class. I don't want an art in an art class, bitch. Oh, come on, bitch. Go fuck yourself. Door to the left. I don't know where I'm going. I have no earthly idea on where the fuck I'm going. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Fantastic fun. So much goddamn fun. So much fun, I forget how much fun I'm having. I don't know if the ghost is Maya. I don't know if we're the ghost. I don't, I, I don't, that sounds, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I am absolutely losing my mind over this fucking game. What are you hiding inside? Okay, there's three. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Like Ducky from Land Before Time. Nope, 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 nope. Nothing really matters anymore. Nothing really matters to me. Everything's just circles! God. And I thought PT was rough. I'm becoming desensitized to your bullshit. Okay, that's a lie. I'm sorry. Do we really deserve all of this? You're shitting me! Come on, man! Oh my god. God, and you start right there. Why is that your habit? Why is the program like that? I really like what you drew me way back. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that you liked it. Run away. You're into art, right? To... You could audit an art class. I feel like it's getting darker with each picture we pick up. God, you are an ugly son of a bitch. Cherry blossoms are supposed to be peaceful and pretty, and you're mean and fugly. I know I gotta get through that chain door, and I know I gotta find these pictures, but I can't fucking find them. And you're super close. Hi, Frando. Can you go away now? Can you do us all a solid and go fuck yourself? You're way too hard on yourself. <laughs> yeah, am I way too hard on me? Oh my god. It sounds just fucking horrific. Come on, where's the one in the lockers? Where's the motherfucking lockers? I can repeat all these rooms 6,000 times, but I can't find the one I'm looking for. Okay, is this the last one? Is this the last one? What are you hiding inside? Okay, it's the last one. We gotta go. Find that door. Find that door. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. How the fuck do I get out of here? Which way you going, bitch? Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go! Oh my god, go, 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 go! What? You're fucking shitting me! No! No! No, 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 no! Come on! Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Oh my god, this shit's so damn stressful! Can't you just let me out? I'm so tired of looking for fucking pictures! And you hide them in the most inconvenient fucking spots! And it's so damn dark! 
This is like Slender on crack! Oh my god, we found it! We found it! Go! Run, you fuck! Go, 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 go! Come on! Oh, thank god! Go, 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 go! Oh, fucking Jesus! That took a lifetime and a half. Am I gonna be alone forever? That's being alone forever is better than being stuck with your fucked up mama! Oh, fuck's sakes. Whew. Oh, good god damn. And it all leads back to this room. And I can't look at her sketchbook no more. Oh, here we go. February 21st. I've been really absorbed into my work lately. I've decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think that they left this place for something better. I think I might be finally free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into the, into this piece. March 4th. My roof piece is almost done. I might actually be be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness gripped me before has clawed its back into my mind. Has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it's always there. Who knows how often it'll show up. The thought that makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. <sighs> is our is the cherry blossom monster the your creation of our psyche and our head where I'm trapped and all of this is melding together into one gigantic nightmare. I don't know if I want to go anywhere else, man. Where the what? What am I supposed to do? March thirteenth, at approximately one p.m. on the twelfth, popular graffiti artist C. B. Maya Eko Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of the apartment building in Ketterstedt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only the local community members, but all of those who were her familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait. She killed herself half a year ago? And that means I've been here this whole time? We've been trapped in hell six months. What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. Whoa. <laughs> Hello? This is a sketchbook. Is this me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What Do you are know? You hiding inside? A lot, apparently. Uh, I think we should be worried about what we think. Absolutely. Those are all wonderful messages. Should always be proud of yourself. Notice me. Is that enough to let us go out of Silent Hill? Or Silent Hell, I should say? Can I leave now? I can. Oh. Hello. Was that what I was supposed to find? Was the fact that she noticed me? I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. Oh, now we're going to get to live through your painful psyche. Fantasmic. I could have had a different life, too, I guess.
guess someone finally did love me. Oh, this poor girl. Feeling like she's empty and alone and there's no one around? You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Is this us coming to peace? Emily, what should I do? It's... Ooh. Where are we taking the stairway to heaven? Oh, I don't like this at all. So is this a gigantic mural for everyone that's jumped? I'm sorry, Amelie. I'm such a piece of shit. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? It's us I confessing our sins. I didn't matter. No matter what anyone said, I didn't listen. Anita? But you and Maya, both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita, wait. Where are you right now? Thank you, Amelie. You were always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait! Is that have have we come to the full realization of our sins and that's gonna be our our way out? What the fuck? Let's go shopping tomorrow. We can talk just the two of us. Tell each other everything that's on our minds. Don't go, Anita. Please don't leave me. See, because she's your best friend. She likes you. And we have escaped our nightmare. <laughs> Let it out, girl. Let it out. Because you are not alone. And that goes for all of you Jubs and Jubettes, too. If you have any kind of problems, talk to someone. There's there's an ear that would rather hear you out now than be at your funeral. I am here for you, Anita. There's always someone out there. And the Jubs always here for you, too. God, that was such a beautiful, terrifying game. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But... I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. Oh my God, that was beautiful. Super emotional and super dark. But you could feel like I felt that game in my soul because I I've battled with depression and you know, things of that nature, maybe not on the scale that, you know, she has, but damn, that was, that was deep. That was an emotional roller coaster from start to finish. Wow. And damn, it was beautiful. 
I'll be fine. I have my best friend with me. We decided to go to college. Good. Oh my God, that is and then just oh, such a fantastic story. Oh, that was beautiful. Short, but damn, was that gorgeous. And so many ways, so many more ways than one. From graphically, the game looks superb, to the built-up tension in the air. Oh, that was phenomenal. Like, when I was getting chased by the Cherry Blossom Monster, I felt her. You could, it's almost like you felt her chasing you. Oh, my God, that was fantastic. If this is got, if this has got any way, shape, or form to show us what Silent Hill 2 Remake could potentially be, I'm all for it. Absolutely. Like I said, I've been a huge fan of Silent Hill since the very first one. I've played them all, except for the Plinko machine. I didn't fuck with that. But, oh, my God. That was fucking phenomenal. That was fantastic. Oh. I almost want that to be a, its own full game. Like a stretched out longer release. Oh, that would be... Oh, this was perfect. And it feels like it was paying such a great homage to PT. Which, unfortunately, is now dead in the water. But... It, it really it played on the style of the rotating corridors and the continuous loopingness of it all. And it just... That was fucking phenomenal. Oh, my God. Kudos, 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 kudos. To all of you phenomenal people who made this game. Like, oh, my God. This was fantastic. I am super happy that I finally got to bring something Silent Hill to the channel. Like I said, Resident Evil and Silent Hill are my two top favorite horror franchises of all time. These stories were dark. They were gripping. They were, oh, they left you on the edge of your seat. And the fact that I now get to share the brand new Silent Hill, or at least a short story for you guys, is just makes me so happy. Oh, I'm so giddy. I love Silent Hill. Silent Hill is, like I said, probably the scary, one of the scariest game franchises I've ever played. Resident Evil was scary as a child. Silent Hill still scares me as an adult. And it's a good, it's not like a deathly fear. It's like a, a woo, let's go. Woo. That was beautiful. And those creepy ass mannequins. I didn't think mannequins could get scary, any scarier than they are. But putting, you know, paper bags on their head and making them look pissed off really Really drives nail to home that, you know, those are scary ass evil mannequins. And then the sticky notes, that was so cool to just, it made it feel more claustrophobic. The, if that is how Silent Hill 2 is going to be visually transformed and gameplay transformed, I'm ready for it. I'm absolutely ready for it. I know there's debate online about whether it looks good, whether it looks bad, whether it's going to be good, whether it's going to be bad. I'm, I want to go in and just enjoy it. Silent Hill 2 for the PlayStation 2 was by far, I think, my favorite Silent Hill just because of the gripping story. It was such a phenomenal story. And I'm hoping that they don't do too much to change that because the story was perfect the way it was. And I do like how this one kind of took aspects from some Silent Hills, like the Silent Hill, The Room. Silent Hill 2, kind of with its story of the the death of a troll. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. This was such a cool fucking game. Is it going to kick us back to the main menu? Oh, that is fucking beautiful.
that's unfortunately that's all I have time for for this episode of Silent Hill the short message if you guys have enjoyed this short series just smash that like button let me know down below and what you guys thought of it are you guys excited for Silent Hill 2 remake are you concerned about it let me know down in the comment section down below I've been Dustin from Jubba Jub Productions and as always I will see you in the next one remember y'all take her easy <laughs>